Engines fire up. Bodies come down. Matt Hagan, the Dodge Power Brokers in his Hellcat. And for AAA of New England, that's Robert Height and the John Force Racing Chevrolet Camaro. These two have been going at it well, basically for the last decade. But especially this year, it seems like they've cranked up the rivalry a little bit. Jimmy Proc, Chris Cunningham. They are the team behind the Auto Club machine. Power Solar, Cornwell Tools, Castro Blue Def, and for the Dodge Power Brokers, they use Mobile One Oil, gear wrench tools. Dickie Venables and Mike Knutson said very, very aggressive, both of them. I don't expect to see tire shake here, at least I certainly hope not. It's interesting that Jim Head has hung around up here on the starting line, keeping an eye on things. Well, the worst he could end up right now is third. Both crew chiefs walk away from their multi-championship winning drivers. Final two funny cars. Can somebody knock Blake off the point? <laughs> How about a 387 at 332 miles an hour? Robert Height hit the gas, and the safety system shut the car off, and it barely coasted out to the 60-foot mark. But for Hagen, he goes right straight to the top, 3.878, 332 miles an hour, and that Joe Costello was plenty aggressive. Yeah, we're down here with Dickie Venables, 87.8 off the trailer, 332.51. I know you guys are having a great year, but I did hear you had a little bit of a scare in the pits before you guys came up. What was going on that led to that run? Uh, I'm not aware of any scare. Oh, well, that uh, <laughs> you guys were back on the bell housing and the rear end, et cetera. Uh, no, I don't know. It must not have been too bad because I'm not aware of it. But, you know, it looked like it barely made it. It's, it was rattling the tires there early, so... Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there, but we're happy to make it. That's what it should have run. That's what we were set up to run, so we're pleased with that. Nice run, number one. Thank you. Way to go, Joe. Oh, yep. Having a tough day, Alan. The crew, the crew didn't want him to know, and you just threw him under the bus. Way to go. Oops. Way to go. Watching a replay one more time, you hear Dickie say it almost didn't make it kind of rattle the tires out there. And for Robert's machine, all of these cars have a box on it. It's known as a Leahy device. And it is a system that if it detects something wrong, will shut the car off. The prevailing thought is if you have a small problem, you can shut the engine off before it turns into a catastrophic problem. And I don't know what it was that set it off, but something obviously set off that system as soon as Robert hit the gas down there. That's why it threw the parachutes out. If it had just been something broke, you know, a blower belt broke, a blower drive broke, it wouldn't have put the chutes out. But something set off the safety system, and that's why it dropped the laundry right on the starting line. But Matt Hagen will go to the number one spot.